All right, fishy folks, we have some progress, sort of. So this tank is a 90 gallon. It's drilled on the bottom. I'll show you where it's drilled. You can see I'm water testing it now. Um, you can see there's two holes right there. The one with the white is three quarter and that's just a, a male, I'm sorry, female threaded adapter sealing that and then a one inch uh, drain essentially um, and that one inch drain goes into a one inch elbow a three-quarter adapter and then some three-quarter pipe here into with a uh, ball valve at the end and you can see I have one inch pipe lying down next to it I don't have a couple of one inch pieces PVC parts I need there's about six or eight inches of snow outside it's 10 degrees and windy like a you know what and the roads are treacherous so uh, I don't really feel like going out and getting the PVC parts I need to plumb this. Plus, I still have to water test it. Uh, I have water in it now for about an hour. I'm going to fill it up after this, make sure it's watertight up to the top, and then go from there. Uh, I did have to modify my rack. I'm just going to talk about my racking system. I learned it from Corey at Aquarium Co-op. We can see how it's built over here. It's one course of cinder block. And then that's two two by sixes and then four more courses of cinder block uh, course of two by sixes then three and then two by sixes now here I tried to span approximately eight feet and the two by six is just it bowed in the middle so I had to add those two by four supports which is why I can't get another 20 gallon tank there that's how I measured it and designed it and uh, I could, I mean, the, I could have probably added another um, support, another support in the middle, another two by six or two by four, and that might have helped, but I didn't do that. And this is pretty permanent for now. Um, if you remember in the past, I had a 30 gallon tank there that had a really cattywampus drain system. Um, the plan is to add. Um, the plan was to keep those tanks on the wood instead of up a little bit and have them drain into the new sump which is in the corner over there which you can't see behind the rack it used to be a 55 gallon sump there uh, 55 gallon tank that was a sump now it's just a 15 gallon tank because it's much shorter um, so and also there was a 30 gallon tank there that was propped up also so I could drain it into the sump but now the sump is much lower. I can get, I can actually drain those tanks directly into the sump. Um, you can see the big four inch um, drain line there that all the other tanks drain into from the middle and top rows. The bottom rows uh, drain into a two inch pipe um, for there. And that's how the rack works. It's basically two by fours or two by sixes and cinder blocks. It's cheap, it's easy no tools are required i learned it from aquarium co-op uh oh well over a year ago when he built his first fish room not the new fish room with the fancy tanks um but so this rack i had to sort of modify i had the two by i had three two by fours uh spanned across the center blocks and everything was fine but because i bought this tank used i don't like drilling tanks on the bottom because it just creates a problem when it comes to racking as I have here. Um, so I had to modify this so that the bulkheads would fit uh, in between the studs. So what I did was I, I put this last row farther out by adding bricks. I have two bricks which are the same height if you put them on end as a, um, a cinder block. So I just made this wider it's really not going to affect anything as I go up higher though like this course here I'm just gonna put center blocks and that's how wide it's gonna be I have a 75 that's going on top of this um, that's I believe it's uh, narrower so it should fit fine if not I'm gonna have to consider how I'm going to shelve that how I'm going to support that I should say so that's my racking system here's the the progress so far um, I'm going to be adding more cinder blocks over here and the cinder blocks over there 
and then deciding what I do on top, uh, what type of boards I'm going to use and uh, how I'm going to set the center blocks up. So I'll be back with that. You can see the fish room is still kind of a disaster, but I'm in the middle of construction, so I think I should get a pass. Anywho, I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, I've had an epiphany about the rack. So I added some tanks just to make sure I have my measurements right and see what it looks like. And I'm sort of debating. I made this this rack, I guess, a little longer than I really needed to to make sure I could fit all the tanks. So I have about, about an inch here and probably about half an inch there in between those tanks. So that's probably how I'm going to leave it. I don't know if there's any benefit or not to moving them up one up against the other but my epiphany was i was talking about this board before and do i raise it up or not i have to raise it up well i don't have to but there has to be another course of wood on this side because of that right so i need to put wood underneath that cinder block or up top in order to level it out. I'll probably just move that center block, put the wood underneath there. Everything will be kosher. Pretty sure, All right, right? So center block, wood, center block, center block, center block, wood, center block, center block, wood, center block, center block, center block, center block. I need wood on this side. Got wood? I need some. I'll be back. All right, fishy folks, we're back. The tank is now pretty much full. We're water testing it. I uh, I tried to net out most of the big debris. I did have a, I do have a sponge filter that apparently is too buoyant and it's floating. I need to weigh it down some more just to catch some of the smaller debris. Um, the plan is to actually drain this tank 100%, uh, make sure it's all clean and then fill it up when I'm ready. Um, but I just want to water test it. Yes, I should have water tested it outside, but I didn't, so oh well. What's 90 gallons of water on your concrete floor basement anyway, between friends? All right, so I have this one board here. You can see it's bowed up this way. I don't know if I'm gonna use it. If you do buy a piece of wood that's bowed like this, uh, I bought this probably because it was 70% off at Home Depot. Yeah, it's got the purple. So if it's bowed like this, you just put it with bow up. The weight of the tank will probably level it out. Boom, you're done. But we all know I'm cheap, so 70% off, I made it work. Anywho. Uh, like I said, I don't know if this piece is staying here because it's really not long enough. Uh, I could make it work if I had to, but it's basically here to see if there's enough space here uh, for me to get my hand in and, and work in there and stuff. I don't plan to be in this tank very often other than to put the fish in and feed. Uh, my plan is to get a nice big fish with personality here. Um, I kind of wanted a flower horn until I saw another... Uh, youtuber that had one and I don't really want to be accused of copying him since he likes to accuse people but anyway um, where was I big fish so if you have any ideas and perhaps an Oscar maybe a flower horn maybe another big South American or Central American cichlid that I don't know anything about uh, let me know so I'm not sure this is six inches uh, right here I like at least eight so what I may do is I'm going to, what I'm going to do is uh, put another 2x4 on top of here and then measure up how much I need for the 75 and see how high I am to the ceiling. And if I'm not too high and I can still put tanks on the top and get into them easily, that's what I'll do. I'll add the, it's really not 2 inches, it's like, I don't know, was it 2 and a quarter? Tyler, you carpenter guy, you, how much is it? Let's measure. It's really not a two by four. It's a one and a three quarters or something like that. All right. I digress. So I think I'm going to add another about two inches to get in there just to have it, which would mean I would have to add the same amount over here so that the top row is all even. Not really a problem. Another thing I'm toying with here is putting a board like this and sticking out like that. And you may be saying to yourself, you're crazy you're gonna knock into that and be cursing on camera and it's gonna hurt and you're probably right i probably will hit it sometimes but over here i wish i had done something like that so i could hang nets 
or even just have a little shelf I'm not really sure I may add like a, uh, a me metallic no a magnetic hook to my cart for some nets and I have some nets, you know a screw on the end for some nets I just like to hang nets so I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do there um, all right well that's it for now um, I'll probably be back with some more progress later all right fishy folks this is proving to be much more challenging than I really thought this side the 620 gallon side and the tens on top or 20s on top at this point fine Monday night in Japanese no problem However, this side where the 75 is going to go is proving to be much more challenging and here's why. A 75 gallon tank is 48 uh, long by 18 deep by 21 tall. Well, 21 inches, as you can see, is right there, which only leaves another two inches of space. We know that's not good enough. So. I would have to add approximately five inches if I add five inches I'm gonna be almost up against the ceiling like I am with these tanks which I don't want so that leaves me with what do I do do I put oh the other problem which is really the big problem I could probably deal with this the, the top but I have to make this shelf wider just like I did on the first course not so concerned I have two bricks I just have to straighten those bricks out and I didn't realize they had shifted so I have to straighten those out actually because they look like they're kind of cattywampus and they shouldn't be so we'll we'll fix those bricks I don't know why I try to kick them in slides but what do I do to make this wider up top like here at this course do I just use a 2x4 on end maybe screw it to the shelf I gotta think about this I gotta I gotta engineer something the other possibility is put a 55 in this spot which I do have one of those or just use it for 20s. I could fit four 20s, I think. It's 48 inches. 20 gallon tank. Nope. Uh, it's 12. I'm reading upside down. So what is it? 12 and... We'll call it 12 and a half. So that's 50 inches for four tanks. I think this is 49 inches, which means I can't fit four tanks. Of course, that's not long enough. Sorry, guys, for this wonderful camera work. But this is what I do. I start the camera and think, right? Think out loud. Some of you guys like it. Yeah, just shy of 48 inches. So I couldn't fit three or four 20s like I wanted. How big is a 20 long? 30 inches? Yeah, 30 inches. So a 20 long, what do I have? 49 inches, so I need nine, I have 19 inches left. What's a 20? I could do a 20 long here and a 20 with some space left over, but that's not really what I want. All right, back to the drawing board. I don't think I'll be back for this one. I got to really, I got to think on this one. Perhaps go grab a cup of coffee and... No, I got to really think down here. I'm one of those guys where I need to be hands-on. Like... I have a tape measure. I still don't know how long things are. I really got to like put the tanks in their place and make sure everything's good there. All right, folks, that's it for today's video. Don't forget to check out my website, michaelsfishroom.com. 
Uh, also, I have a Facebook page, Michael's Fisherman on Facebook, Instagram. If you want to see some content uh, early and perhaps some unreleased content on YouTube, please check out my Patreon. Uh, all those links are in the description below. And of course, if you want a Guppy Nation t-shirt, check out my Teespring store. Hope everyone has a great day. See ya. Ta-da! Yes, I know there's wood missing there. You can see I just have a corner missing. Um, basically, I'm just testing right now. I have to put the right size wood in there. But there's about seven inches here now, which I think I think I'm gonna go with. I think that's what I'm gonna do. I don't think adding an extra inch and a half is gonna make much of a difference. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna measure like I said I was gonna measure before. I'm so silly. All right, fishy folks, we have some issues we have to deal with. This side is fine, it's perfect. It's actually just exactly how I want it. This side where the 75 is gonna go is proving to be much more challenging than I really thought. Here's the first problem. This is 18 inches, a 75 gallon tank is 48 by 18 by... I have no idea. All right, fishy folks, why, why, why is it floating? All right, fishy folks, we're back. Uh, the tank is now pretty much full. I just put a little box filter in there to try to catch some of the debris. <clears throat> debris? Wow. All right, fishy folks, uh, the tank is now pretty much full. We're water testering. testering. All right, fishy folks, we're back. Uh, the tank is now full, almost. We're water testing. Um, I do have a sponge filter that somehow, not a sponge filter. That would be a box filter, you idiot. 